Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining. Hello and welcome if you are new. My name is Laura um, and I have the blog and Instagram Laura's Little Locket. And if you are an existing viewer, thank you so much for coming back to watch. So, I've never done one of these before. I like watching other people's because I'm nosy. So I thought I would give it a go. Don't know how this is gonna turn out. But I am going on holiday with my family on Wednesday. We are Monday today and we haven't been on a family holiday for years um so i'm gonna start packing now and i thought that i would film packing like what i'm taking um how i pack i mean i should put it in a suitcase but you know um so yeah let's just see how this goes but what i'm going to do so i'll just hang up like hold up things and show you what i'm packing but while I am on holiday, I'm gonna be filming all of my outfits. So that will be next week's video. It'll kind of be like what I wore on my family holiday. So stay tuned for that. So for now, I've got the case out and let's get packing. So I'm gonna pack in stages. I'm going to start with swimwear. So we're going for four days, five days, and I have got five swimming costumes. Um, and I'm not, they probably actually won't end up wearing all of them, but I like to have the choice. You will see that I'm not that much of a light packer, but I should like to have the choice. So, leopard print, green, white, polka dot, and stripey. Okay, so, as you just saw, five swimming costumes, thought I'd quickly show you these. This is the one I wore loads in Morocco. This is from New Look. It's just a white one with a nice little belt around the middle, really like that. This is also from New Look, exactly the same style. Um, actually, is it the same style? Oh yeah, it's kind of got like pads in the boobs, which I like on holiday because I just I just like that. Um, also, it's got this really nice like belt detail. I think it's like really flattering. And in the same design, get really out of breath filming YouTube videos, I don't know why, is a leopard print one. So again, they're all the same style with that belt. Um, I've still got the tag at this one, they're 24 99 they've also got it in plain black as well. And then this, I picked this up from Primark, and at first I wasn't sure, but I tried it on and I really like it. Because at first I didn't actually realise, if you can see, it's actually kind of like glittery, and I'm not really that much of a glitter girl, but I don't think you can notice that it's glittery, I really like the colour, it's a really nice fit, um, that was Primark, and that's £10. And then I picked this up from ASOS. I did actually get this for Morocco, but I never ended up wearing it. It looks tiny, but it's one of those like one size ones. It's really stretchy. So it's um this is ASOS, it's like a bando style. And um, it kind of reminds me of that, uh, is it Hunza? Hunza G, I think. Swimwear, um, but obviously a lot more affordable. I think this was around £30. Um, yes, yeah, really, really like the olive colour of that and this sort of like cut out detail there. As you can see, no bikinis because I'm not bikini ready and I feel much more comfortable in a swimming costume. Next, I'm going to do evening wear. Um, so I don't like to go too dressy on holiday anyway, um, but just yet, obviously it's in the daytime. And um, you might recognize this if you follow me on Instagram. This is my um, Miss Selfridge, kind of like a sage, um, boiler suit, uh, jumpsuit even, which I absolutely love. Um, it's quite thick as well, and we're going to Grand Canaria, so it should be hot, but in the evenings might be a little bit chilly, so I'm thinking this is a good idea. I'll pop a picture in here of me wearing it so you can see it on, because this isn't doing it any justice. It's really, really nice. Um, I got that in a size 10. So last year, ASOS had this design of dress that just went mad. And last year it was a white linen one, but this year they've bought it back in the same style, just in a different um, print. So this is a, a white, it's still kind of a cottony linen material with black polka dots. And it's also got this really like this cute tie detail. Again, I have worn this one, and um, so I'll pop a picture in of me wearing it. But it's from And of the Stories, and it's the most gorgeous dress. So it's a polka dot, but it's kind of got these like um, ruched sleeves, and it is long, and then it's got a split up the front, and it's so flattering. And I feel like it's such a lady in it. I really, really like it. It's 
very chic and classy. And then as we are going for four nights, I've got four evening outfits. So for my final one, I have this skirt. Um, this is from New Look. It's actually like a really thick cotton material. It's really nice. And it's got this um, kind of split here as well. So I think you're supposed to wear the buttons on the side. But when I wore it, I actually wore it the buttons in the middle. And I felt like it was just a little bit more flattering on me. But you could wear it either way. I really love that. And I've got this really cute top. Uh, this is actually from Boohoo, but I got it on ASOS. It's kind of like a brownie, um, rusty kind of colour. Gingham, puff sleeves, cropped. So I thought that this um, would look really... Oh, this is hard to do. <laughs> this would look really cute together. Okay, so we've packed swimming costumes and evening outfits. I'm going to go and get the bits for daytime outfits. And then this is my daytime um, outfit planning situation. So I've got three pairs of shorts. I just got these from New Look the other day. I really like them. They fit really nicely. Um, so I've got denim shorts. There's these linen shorts. They've got a belt somewhere. I need to find that. And then these really cool, um, they're not leather, but they're like faux leather paper bag shorts. I love these. So as you can tell, I've kind of gone with like a similar kind of like palette because all of the tops will go with all of the bottoms. Um, and then I'm not really going to pack exact outfits. I'll just kind of see what I feel like. But I know that any of the tops will go with any of the bottoms, really. Um, I'm going to pack these again. I wore these in Morocco. I love these so much. And then I got um, this cute... It's kind of like a knitted vest top. This is like also from New Look. So, yes, let's get these in the case. So, as I said, on holiday, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to feel like. I might feel, like, really bloated because I've eaten loads. I might be cold because it might not be as warm as I thought. You know, sometimes you just don't know how you're going to feel. So, um, all of these are kind of, like, mix and match outfits. So, I feel like I've got some safe pieces. So, as I said, um, new look shorts. These fit really nicely and they kind of have the um, vintage Levi feel to them these are 19.99 these are a size 10 they are a little bit um i mean they're not tight at all that's i hate tight denim shorts where it cuts in that is so uncomfortable these are um really nice they're quite loose but that's what i like in denim shorts because i will pack um some belts and i kind of like that like cinched in bit you get with denim shorts so they can go in these are um some linen shorts they look like huge granny pants when I hold them up like this. There is um, a belt, I need to find that actually. Um, this is really easy to wear. I wore these loads in Morocco, I'll pop a picture in here, um, but they just go with so much and I will um, iron or steam those when I get there. Um, and they're quite a nice, like smart, short option. And then these are the Topshop shorts I just showed you. They're so nice, I'm just gonna do this up saw these on the website I literally ordered them immediately because I'm surprised if they're um, not sold out already they're kind of like a faux leather but this color it's just so nice they're actually a little bit more of a pinky nude actually in real life than what they're showing up but they kind of look yeah quite white on the camera they're definitely like a uh, like a pinky oh that's a bit better you can see but these were these are 32 pounds and I think that's so good for a really nice pair of shorts and I just know throughout the whole of the summer I'm going to wear these loads um, also I don't really go on nights out but if I was going out in the evening in the summer I'd definitely wear these as well because they're quite dressy um, you could definitely dress them up as well so they are my short options oh and then these are the trousers these are from H&M but these are actually a sample because I got these in the showroom and I keep checking online I can't find them online but I will keep checking they're just um, like really long loose trousers and they've got this really nice um print on them which i love okay tops let's just quickly run through these this i am planning on wearing with these h&m trousers it's like a little uh, knitted vest it's got this really cute knot detail at the back i might actually wear it back to front and wear the knot at the front actually i think i definitely do that maybe that's how you're supposed to wear it i don't know i can't remember what the how the model had it on the website there's that um, this cute top from River Island. How cute is that? Really wanted like a spotty top uh, like that. They also have that in plain white as well if you're after something like that. This is also from River Island. Um, it's just like a really big loose shirt. If it's really warm, I just like to like wear this over my swimmer costume during the day. Um, and it's got these huge, well not huge, some of them are really big. 
the different size tortoiseshell buttons. I got that in a size medium because I wanted it to be really loose and comfortable. Um, I've packed two t-shirts just to be safe. So I've just got uh, a plain white one, it says Blanc on there, and then this one as well. That's Topshop. Oh, there's the belt for the shorts. Okay, then I actually picked two tops up from Primark recently. So, uh, to be honest, what I've just shown you I think would be enough, but I like to have a few options. Um, I don't know why I was drawn to this. I'm not really a polo shirt kind of gal, but there's something about this top I really liked. Really like that it's ribbed. It's so I got this in a size large for it to be like really oversized. I just thought it'd look cool with um, tucked in to denim shorts and a belt um, and gold jewelry. But yeah, again, it's just you know you just want to throw something on holiday, not be too fussy. And this as well. How cool is the shirt? So I picked this up in a size 16 again for it to be really oversized because actually to think of it. I bought that to wear over a black swimming costume and I'm not packing a black swimming costume but that would definitely look nice over the white one wouldn't it? So shall I pack it? Um, oh, I'm not good at making packing decisions. All I ever say is well it doesn't take up much space does it so that could just go in there so we'll pack that. And then finally this new top got from ASOS. <gasps> Again Holding it up like this doesn't really show it off enough. I'm gonna um I'm gonna be obviously filming all of the looks and then you'll be able to see them on. But get the tag out of the way, it's really nice. It's like crinkle, cream crinkly material. It's got these huge um like bat sleeves almost and then a the tie-up detail at the front. Um this was low stock when I bought it. Um so I've got a size 10. Normally in something loose like this, I probably would actually buy an eight, but they didn't have it in stock. So if you're eyeing this up um i would check now because it was low stock when i last looked so that's day outfits um swimming costumes evening outfits that's all of the clothes so now i need to pack accessories and toiletries what else and electricals i actually got these shoes um for some of my summer trips they're from asos they are really nice they're leopard print they're kind of like um I don't know how to they actually feel like hair um, they're kind of like just wedgy, they're really really lightweight. I love them so much but they're not that comfortable and they need more wearing in so I'm not going to actually take those because they need wearing in a little bit more. But a shoe that I'm definitely going to take are these, I've worn these loads in Morocco. Um, they're kind of like a flat form sandal. I actually had to go up a size in these. Um, I'm normally four and these are five. Just because I felt like the fours, um, my toes, I have not got long toes. But they were kind of like overhanging the front, looked a bit weird so I just went up a size. Um, yeah, I wore these loads. I really like gold jewellery and I always notice little things like this. Often buckles are silver but these buckles are gold. I love these so much. And again, because of the like neutral colour, they're going to kind of go with everything. So I got this book for Christmas and I started to read it at Christmas, but I basically got, let's just see, I got that much through it. Um, so, I love the smell of the book. Um, I'm going to pack that up because I, I'm not much of a reader, but I really want to read this because apparently it's amazing. So I'm going to pack that. And um, a few accessories I'm going to pack. This is going to be like my um, day bag. Um, it's actually quite surprisingly big. This is from Primark as well. I got picked up quite a few good bits in there. It's sort of hanging, the bottom's hanging down a little bit. A bit saggy, it feels like my bum. Um, but yeah, it's also got this strap as well if you wanted a longer strap. But I actually just like it. I'm going to probably tuck that strap in. Ooh, you can actually, it's detachable, you can take it off. Um, I like it handheld, it's quite, it's a good size for like my book. Um, sun cream, you know, bits and bobs. So that was, um, still got the tag in it. That's eight pounds for Primark. How cute is that? I love, oh no, that tassel, that tassel's having a party on its own. I'm gonna have to lay that flat and try and get that to lay down. Actually, I think if you wet them, they lay down. Oh, look how annoying is that? Okay, well, we're still going to pack it. Then, oh yes, I need to put this on my Instagram actually. Sun and Day is the most gorgeous brand for um, like summer accessories. Oh, how nice is this? It's the cutest little clutch with my initial 
L in show. I mean, does it get any better than that? How cute. Oh, it's so nice, isn't it? They actually sent a, pe a pearl um, hair slide and a bow for my hair as well. So I'll get those in a minute because I'm going to pack those. But how nice is that? We're just going back to shoes. I am going to pack these. Um, these are my Dior sandals. But I've got to be honest, they're not that comfortable. Again, these need wearing in. Um, so I'm going to take them, try and wear them in a little bit. I always love to take a hat on holiday. I get a um, burnt head. And this is from ASOS and I really like it. I love that it's got the, the black band around it. Um, this it actually has come with this. So I'm actually going to pack that in there so it like keeps the shape. And this is the shell clip. How cool is that? Let's just try it on. I don't know how I'm going to wear it yet. Like that maybe? I like that. <gasps> I love the shells. And then this bag I'm going to take as like my evening bag because it kind of, it goes with everything. Um, and I like it. So I love the handle. All the beads. And then a belt, I need a belt for the shorts. So I'm going to pack this one. This is from New Look. It's got the like raffia style buckle and then just a black, um, belt Ooh, and when i was making um, a new look order i saw this gold shell anklet and it was 3.99 so i had to get that because if you hadn't guessed i love shells i keep all my travel toiletries um, in this little bag it's really handy just to pop in a suitcase so this was left over from a recent trip anyway so this should have everything in so i'm going to tip this out and then just very quickly show you okay so this is um pretty much oh i just need to pack toothpaste as well but i've got shampoo purple shampoo conditioner these are just ones i always use for traveling because i just keep them in those bottles i've got um this which i love this is from bumble and bumble it's um it's equal parts of dry shampoo and like volumizing texture so i really like that I've got a sea salt spray, always carry tangle teaser, this is a travel one, um, so it's got this little bit to protect the bristles, I've got a micellar water, makeup setting spray, uh, pixie glow tonic which I love to use after I've cleansed, um, Elemis superfood day cream, this is the Elemis pro collagen cleansing balm, I've packed a mask actually because this says, it's like an after sun um, sheet mask, it's from this brand Metallica. Um, it said it immediately fresh and hydrates and revitalizes skin. So obviously I'm going to be in the sun, so I'm going to take that. If you don't want to pack heavy on the toiletries, this product is so good. It's called Universal Emulsion. Basically, it's day cream, night cream, eye cream, serum. It's got everything all in one. I mean, I still obviously like to pack everything, but if I'm taking hand luggage and I'm strapped for space, then this is an amazing solution. Um, yeah. I took this to Marrakesh and used it as my day and night cream. Really, really liked it. Um, and then I put this on after my moisturiser. And I always, always have this um, on any holidays I go on. It's from Elizabeth Arden from the Provage range and it's City Smart. Um, it has an anti-pollution, antioxidant, SPF 50. It's really protective against all of the um, harmful rays. And yeah, so that's amazing. I've got a night cream here. I suppose I don't really need that as I've got that eye cream i've got a little mini neom um sleep mist oh i love this so much this is the urban decay all nighter this is really nice this is from guerlain and it's the youth watery oil um and i just keep this little mini one in my travel bag it's just really nice day and evening serum it just really refreshes the skin and packs loads of hydration and moisture and then I like to take a foot cream actually when I'm away because for some reason I get like dry skin and cracked skin um, more especially when I'm in the hot countries so pack that what other bits I've got some um cotton pads yeah so I just need to pack toothbrush and toothpaste and then that's all done also I'm going to put in two um travel adapters passports obviously um electricals i'm not going to show that because that's boring but i believe the hotel has a hairdryer so i don't need a hairdryer i need to just pack my curlers and straighteners phone charger camera charger i'll take my laptop so laptop charger i think then i'm done
always think I'm finished packing and then I remember something else that I probably don't need and I'm like, I'll just put that in as well. I'll just put that in as well. Um, so I know that that is definitely going to be happening later. But you've seen me pack the majority of the stuff and listened to me rambled on for long enough. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. But if you want to see all the clothes in action, check back next week because there'll be a video on... Um, the clothes in action of me wearing them what i'm wearing them with um stuff like that so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it if you did i'd love if you could give it a thumbs up if you don't already i would love if you could subscribe to my channel as well um, i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll speak to you soon bye